The water is calm again on Northwood Lake, but now littered with debris. Not long after a fast moving storm ripped large trees from the ground, some falling onto homes, causing serious damage. It's, it's unbelievable what we've been doing for a storm. It's the weather's been just incredible. Um, you know, and it's just in a matter of 15 minutes, it was it was here and gone. Boats flipped over, docks several yards away from where they're supposed to be. The storms that come up here are really uh, violent storms because we're, we're on the Route 4 corridor, the uh, west to east corridor. People who live here now dealing with yet another damaging storm. Dave Elliott points out the area where a tornado tore through in 2008. Then it hit right to the left of the tan house and went right across. He estimates that tornado's path just about an eighth of a mile from where homes are seeing the most damage with this storm. There are people that weren't even up here um, that are seasonal campers um, that probably won't even know that their houses have been damaged for another week or two. If you've ever spent time on a lake, you know how friendly people can be. Elliot says he and his friend Sean had plenty of company as they helped to tow damaged boats back to shore. Everybody helps out as soon as the storm ended. Ten minutes after it was passed, uh, we were all out helping. It's a very neighborly lake. Now we have seen plenty of crews out here tonight working to restore power to all of these homes. People we spoke to say they do expect to see a lot of people outside tomorrow with their chainsaws helping their neighbors. We're live in Northwood tonight. Siobhan Lopez, WMUR News 9.